think we got it.
For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth and hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, and thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall keep transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. I deliver me from thy guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it with full burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and I do pleasure in design, and with the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. When thou didst descend to death, O life immortal, thou didst slay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead. And when from the depths thou didst raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through faith thou didst justify the forefathers, betrothing through them the church of the Gentiles. These saints exult in glory, for from their seed came forth the glorious fruit. She who bore thee without seed, so by their prayers, O Christ God, have mercy on us. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, and have blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. We do we supplicate and intercede, O Lady, together with the holy apostles, that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, the Lord cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Hell became afraid, O Almighty Savior, seeing the miracle of thy resurrection from the tomb. The dead arose, creation with Adam beheld this, and rejoiced with thee in the world. My Savior praises thee forever. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have Lord, long suffering, plenty of mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who callest all the salvation to the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make faith our bodies, correct our thoughts. Purify our intentions and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, discharged and guided by their array. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos be, do we magnify in the name of the Lord, Father, bless.
mercy. We pray to the Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O Master God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and O Holy Spirit, one God had one power. Have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou knowest, save me, thine unworthy servant, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul, and have not set God before themselves. For behold, God helpeth me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee, I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me, and mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and disdain not my supplication, attend unto me, and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation, and I was troubled with the voice of the enemy, and at the oppression of the sinner. Because they have turned iniquity upon me, and with wrath that they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling are come upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, who will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God to save it, from faint heartedness and from tempest. Plunge them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and gain, saying in the city. Day and night they go round about her upon her walls, iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if mine enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it, and if he that hated me had spoken both words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was, O man of like soul with me, my guide and my familiar friend. Thou who together with me did sweeten my path. In the house of God I walk with thee in oneness of mine. Let death come upon such ones and let them go down alive into Hades. For wickedness is in their dwellings and in the midst of them. As for me unto God have I cried and the Lord hearkened unto me. Evening, morning, and noonday will I tell of it and will declare it and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that throw nigh unto me for they among many were with thee. God will hear and he will humble them. Be that is before the ages. For to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God, he has stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenant, they were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts have convened. Their words are smooth as an oil, and yet they are dark. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee, he will never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shall bring those men down into the pit of destruction. The bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hundreds and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With a shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, art my hope, thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the ass and the basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he hath set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. When thou didst descend to death, O life immortal, thou didst slay hell in the splendor of thy Godhead. And when from the depths thou didst raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O joyful North Star of the Church of Christ, guiding all men to the heavenly kingdom, teacher and apostle of the true faith, intercessor and defender of the oppressed, Adornment of the Orthodox Church in America, Blessed Father Herman of Alaska, pray to our Lord Jesus Christ for the salvation of our souls, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
seeing that we have no boldness on account of our many sins, do thou beseech him that was born of thee, O virgin Theotokos, for the supplication of a mother availeth much to win the master's favor. Disdain not the prayers of sinners, O all pure one, for merciful and mighty to save us, he who deigned also to suffer for our sakes. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Divine are the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. You did not worship the graven image of Christ, blessed ones, but armed with the immaterial essence of God, you were glorified in a trial by fire. From the midst of unbearable flames, you called on God, crying, Hasten, O compassionate one, speedily come to our aid, for thou art merciful and able to do as thou dost will. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshiped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long-suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who callest all the salvation through the promise of good things to come, receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their array. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thy unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the word of the very Theotokos, do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O God and Lord of hosts and maker of all creation, who by the tender compassion of thy mercy which transcendeth comprehension, did send down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross did bear us under the handwriting of our sins, and thereby did triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. Do thou thyself, O Master, lover of mankind, accept also from us sinners these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Nail down our flesh with the fear of the end, incline not our hearts into words and thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee and being guided by thy light as we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may send up unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the unoriginate Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs>
house for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Pecan, for our Archbishop Benjamin, for the Honorable Priestess, the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its precedent, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy, that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating a most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
Kimanon in the fourth tone, the song of the fathers, 
Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. For thou art just in all that thou hast done for us. Blessed art thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praise and glorify is thy name. Seventh tone, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Colossians. Let us ascend. Brethren, when Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore, mortify your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For of these things the wrath of God is coming on the children of disobedience, in which you also once walked when you lived in them, but now you must also put away all anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, and filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. But the brethren, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in a fault, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. And to thy spirit, wisdom, the Alleluia in the fourth tone, Moses and Aaron were among his priests, Samuel also was among those who called on his name. They called to the Lord and he answered them. Sixth tone, blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. Master, him who proclaims glad tidings to the Holy Apostle and the Evangelist Luke. Hey, God, to the prayer of the Holy Ghost, a lot of the Apostles, and the Evangelist Luke, enabling to defend the baptized with great power, the sons of the Gospel of the Love of Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom, let us attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to 
Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus stood on a level place with a crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear him and be healed of their diseases as well as those who were tormented with unclean spirits and they were healed and the whole multitude sought to touch him for power went out from him and healed them all then he lifted up his eyes toward his disciples and said blessed are you poor for yours is the kingdom of God for bless blessed are you who hunger now for you shall be filled blessed are you who weep now for you shall laugh blessed are you when men hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake rejoice in that day and leap for joy for indeed your reward is great in heaven the lord said this parable a certain man gave a great supper and invited many and sent his servant at supper time to say to those who were invited, Come, for all things are now ready. But they all, with one accord, began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of buck brown, and I must go and see it. I ask you to, ha I ask you to have me excused. And another said, I have brought five yoke of oxen and I'm going to test them. I ask you to have me excused. Still another said, I have married a wife, therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and reported these things to his master. When then the master of the house being angry said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in here the poor and the maimed and the lame and the blind. And the servant said, Master, it is done as you commanded, and still there is room. Then the master said to the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say to you, that none of those men who were invited shall taste my supper. like everyone has a dry place. If we see anyone else coming, I believe we still have spaces in the kitchen area, so we can uh, point, point them that way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the revelation that our Lord gave to his beloved disciple John, he tells the church of Laodicea, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. This invitation to dine with the Lord comes after a rebuke for their indifference, for being lukewarm about their faith, and after a call to repentance. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, he says, therefore be zealous and repent. In spite of their sliding back into worldly cares, our Lord never ceased to call them back, to call and invite them to that grand and eternal banquet where none go hungry and joy overflows. It's just the same for us. Our Lord Jesus Christ knocks at the door of our hearts and invites us to his great supper, as we heard in today's gospel reading. This great supper is an image of the closest communion with God, a sharing in his divine life. 
we can partake of this supper at the Divine Liturgy, sharing in the Holy Eucharist together. But we can also commune with the Lord every day in the inner chamber of our heart. Come, for all things are now ready, he invites us. We receive this call just as those did in today's Gospel reading. But how did they respond? Sadly, they all with one accord began to make excuses. There's too much work to be done. I have other priorities, family obligations, and so on, none of which are bad per se in their own season and at the proper time. But by putting secondary things first, they missed out, and we too can miss out, on the greatest and most important thing of all. It's why love for God is placed as the furthest and greatest commandment. When we give God the leftovers in our life, rather than the first fruits, it's not God who suffers or misses out. Rather, we do. And we often don't even realize why we're so unhappy. I'd like to encourage all of us today to hear the Lord's invitation and respond to it by consciously dedicating time each day to be with God in silence. If we want to hear the Lord's invitation, hear his knocking, receive him, we simply have to find and make time for silence and prayer. This has never been easy, but for us modern people, with so much activity, so many instant updates, so much noise, it's all the harder to find quiet time to be with God, and if we do find it, to actually quiet our minds to be with Him. And yet, and yet this is the most essential thing. If we neglect Him, placing every other priority first, like the people who made excuses in today's parable, we'll miss out on sharing in the one banquet that can truly feed our souls and bring peace and joy to our hearts. How radically everything changes, writes Elder Saproni, when the heart suddenly opens to accept Christ's invitation. Every moment becomes precious full of profound meaning. Suffering and joy wonderfully merge with a newfound striving for God, and the ladder to heaven opens before our eyes. If we don't already have such a practice, and I'm sure some of you already do, surely we can spare five minutes. What can't we do for five minutes a day? And if we can form just a little habit of prayer, once that's established, it can easily grow later. The most important thing is establishing a little habit, that foundation, that base that can grow. In our tradition, the practice of interior prayer, that is cultivating the interior silence where we meet God, is most often associated with the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. St. Herman of Alaska, who we commemorate today, loved this prayer. It's a practice deeply rooted in Holy Scripture. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, Jesus told his disciples at the Last Supper, that will I do. And again, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Or throughout the Psalms, Help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of thy name, O Lord, and deliver us for thy name's sake. Forgive us. And again, save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. In the name of God that he revealed to us when the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, that is, when the Son of God took on our human nature for our salvation, is the name Jesus. As the angel revealed to Joseph in a dream, and Mary will bring forth the child, and he shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. How do we begin to call upon the name of the Lord? In today's Gospel, 
we see that it's not the wealthy or successful who are able to accept the invitation and dine at the king's table, but those who are poor, blind, and lame. That is to say, those who, are recogni those who recognize that they are poor, the poor in spirit, who acknowledge that they are blind spiritually and need the light of Christ, who see in their soul a crippling illness. It is these who are able to receive the invitation of the Master and in consequence receive the joy, the riches, the light, and the healing that only God can give. So this is how we begin. We set aside five or ten minutes of silence. We recognize our poverty. And I'd suggest the best way to do this is to cultivate contrition of heart, a humble standing before the Lord, a broken and contrite heart God will not despise. So we may stand, if possible, even kneel. If we can't, then sitting or even laying down is okay. But generally an active posture is much more helpful for, attentive, for attention in prayer. And we slowly, simply pray, Lord, Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Not rushing, praying each word with meaning, concentrating all of our attention on the words of the prayer, that they might enter deep within our being, and allowing space for silence, the silence where we meet God. Also never seeking or expecting spiritual experiences or the movements of grace. Far from it, God sends us such things in due season when we need it to the humble of heart. We can also repeat the Jesus prayer throughout the day, no matter where we are or what we're doing. In this way, constantly remembering God and sanctifying the day and all of our encounters. St. Herman, the first saint of North America, and the great missionary and ascetic we commemorate today, loved interior prayer and silence. It was this that gave strength and substance to his mission, that produced the spiritual fruits of peace, joy, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and love that so endeared him to the native peoples of Alaska. For many years he lived alone in a secluded hermitage on Spruce Island off of Kodiak. And I have to say, with this liturgy today outside in the rain, I really feel a sense of Alaska. If you've ever been in a beautiful place, the rain is coming down. You have this noise, but it's also quieter. You don't hear so much of that, that background. There's a certain peace that comes with it. So we get a little taste, we'll get our taste of Spruce Island today. And St. Herman was asked once, how do you, Father Herman, live alone in the forest? Don't you get bored? <laughs> right, we, we might ask him that question. And the Father Herman responded, no, I'm not alone there. God is there, as he is everywhere. And the holy angels are there. Who could be bored with them? With whom is it better and more pleasant to converse? With, with people or with angels? I'd like to encourage all of us today to follow St. Herman's example, Je not just to seek out a little, but to prioritize some quiet time to be with the Lord every day. What's most important is that we have this time with God, and less so important, which prayer that we pray during that time. It can be the Jesus prayer, but it can be the prayers of the prayer book. It can be just silence with God that reflection, that standing before him, opening our hearts. But let's not miss out on this greatest invitation we will ever receive. May we all find the humility to receive this great gift of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, together with his Father from everlasting, as all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Let us all say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say. Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for our metropolitan peacons, for our archbishop benjamin, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy church, and for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us, Proto Presbyter Alexander Lemon, Archbishop David, Archpriest James, Katrina, Dennis, Raju, David, Parzivan, Evelyn, Tyler, George, Raymond, O'Neill, in all the world, world life, sleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the service of God. All those suffering from coronavirus, Archpriest Ian, Archpriest Michael, Archpriest David, and Alice, St. Siloan Mission, Deacon Joseph, Deacon Seraphim, Matuska Susan, Matuska Priscilla, Matuska Sophia, Joanne, Catherine, Linda, Karen, Alexandra, Jean and Cheryl, Marie, Louis, Andrew, Kayla, Joseph, Curtis, Benny, Mary Lou, Anne, Kent, Bruce, Olga, Elizabeth, Jamie, Gregory, Catherine, Katrina, Bob, Svetlana, Susan, Elena, John, Dan, Dorothea, Arenaeus, Monica, Elizabeth, Rob, Aldona, Elia, Ivan, Gaza, Gabi, Lori, Michelle, Kathy, Matuska, Joni, Amanda, Elizabeth, Sarah, Anna, Vera, Elena, and for the brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and bring good works to this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Thou art a merciful God who lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Let us pray to the Lord. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and visible and many natural goodness, we can the part of people gathered here in that holy name. We are helping the defend the day of affliction, our notice our weakness, our give us our cry and repentance, and contrition of heart. O Lord, in all this time, time and the the pending God, coronavirus, send down that thine angels who are chosen to protect us, God's help and recovery to those suffering through virus, guard the hands of our physicians and preserve those who are healthy, enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify the most honorable and disastrous name, to the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens, that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth, that he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and teach them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens. Our 
are with us, they also may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All catechumens depart, depart catechumens, all that are catechumens depart, let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto God the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. And the day of the Lord, for your honor and worship to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and every man who is in Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the meaning of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. Guard it always by thy might, we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Archbishop of Washington, D.C., Metropolitan of All America, and Canada, and the Lord our God, remembering his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, the most reverend Benjamin, Archbishop of San Francisco in the West, and the Lord our God, remembering his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, all those in the priestly and monastic orders, may the Lord our God remember them in his heavenly kingdom. Always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of the ages, for the President of the United States and all civil authorities, and for our armed forces in defense of peace and freedom everywhere, may the Lord our God remember them in this heavenly kingdom. Always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. All this are the slightest to face the hope and resurrection of the Lord God and under his kingdom. Always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. All the Christians of the present of the faith throughout the world, and the Lord God and offer his kingdom. All is now and up, and unto the ages of ages. For all those taken suffering, all those hostile groups and open institutions, all the suffering and the of ours, and the Lord God and offer his kingdom. All is now and up, and unto the ages of ages. With the founders and benefactors we hold in us, so to labor and those who think, all those who serve and all those who we have in our hearts, and the Lord God and offer his kingdom. Always now and ever and unto ages of ages, you and all of you are Christians. You and all of you are Christians. Always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us ask, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed.
blessed and glorious, Lady Fay Coco said, have a Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Together with thine all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confirm. and wisdom, let us attend.
to the
Spirit of God, with faith and love draw near. Thank you. 
Depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in return by thy divine power, and forsake us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his most dear mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, the holy glorious and all audible apostles, our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and of our Father among the saints, the Venerable Herman, the last of wonder worker of all America, whose memory we keep this day, the holy righteous and sister of our Jones, and out of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Well, good, good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome. It truly is a joy today to celebrate um, liturgy with all of you, especially all of you here present with you at home as well. Um, and it's one of those things to look back and the future you'll tell your, some of you have children, maybe tell your children or grandchildren about the, the time when we were having liturgy, liturgy not just outside, but in the rain, so, in the stormy weather and this, as the legends grow. But, um, no, <laughs> exactly how we try to get there, but, but nonetheless, it is a joy nonetheless, to, to, be, to be together, to continue to pray, to serve the divine liturgy. I'm just thankful to God for this and for all of you and so many of you who work so hard to, to make this uh, outdoor church possible during these times. So you know who you are. Thank you very much, and thanks to God for all of you who contribute and make this uh, make the services possible each week. A few a few notes uh, for announcements of the pledge packets. We we had say they're due today. We'll still happily accept them if you have them later. But um, so if you if you could if you're planning to pledge for next year uh, to support our parish, what that does is it allows us to form a budget uh, that we can uh, you know fo follow and and to, for all the, the expenses of our, of our parish community. Um, and again, I, I thank you all because I think it's a testament to our, our faithfulness and commitment and the, 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 the pledging approach to, to stewardship that we did not have a great financial crisis this year um, that had affected many, many churches. Our giving was down, it's true, but our expenses were down enough to match so that thanks be to God, we've been holding steady uh, thus far. So thank you for, th thank you for that. So if you can, please return your pledge packet soon if you have not already. Um, we have more positive news on the building program match. Uh, the generosity keeps uh, keeps growing, exceeding expectations. We last last count we had was we've raised eleven thousand seven hundred eighty-five dollars out of fifteen thousand dollar match now that has been raised. So this is a really really exciting and and joyful prospect as we look forward to. Uh, I think our, our building program kicking into high gear with development next year. So hopefully we'll have some exciting announcements on that progress and where our next steps on actually beginning the work uh, shall, shall be coming soon. Okay, um, also for the St. Xania projects, as we mentioned, our, one of our, our, our ongoing charities to bring Christmas joy to residents of a group home who we've served for many years. Um, the gifts were, were due back to, today um, to get them to Ginny. If for some reason you took a tag, and we're not able to get it back today. Please let Jimmy know so we can uh, coordinate on that. Uh, any other note on, yes, Jimmy? Yeah, so simply to put them in the hall rather than hand them all to me. <laughs> yeah, so if you can, please put them in the hall preferred. I saw a few of them made inside the church as well, but we'll, we'll, take, uh, we'll take stock of those uh, later and, and be, be delivering them um, probably next week. Okay, so today, let me ask, are we still, are you still up for adult class, uh, Father Tom and oh, Rick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Put the chairs around one of the heaters here. Okay, yeah, we have, the, we have our heaters going, so we'll gather around, front, maybe where you have the two heaters in the middle with the chairs, and uh, God bless you all. I'm, 
I'm, always, I'm humbled by inspired by the, by the the faith and the zeal of Orthodox Christians. So well, it's good. Can survive the lion's den, we can survive. A, a <laughs> exactly. You gather on the fiery furnace, and that like the holy youth, and um, there we go. Uh, so this week we have on Tuesday food closet and parish council meeting in the evening on Zoom. Wednesday evening here in the pavilion, God willing, once again we'll have vespers at six and our Orthodox faith and life class at six thirty. Thursday evening on Zoom, also a development committee again. So we say the work is uh, revving up on that once more. And then next next weekend, I have um, well, it's a regular scheduled service for, for, for Vespers and Liturgy. Also next Sunday, as Valerie had mentioned last week, we'll have a little meeting talking about uh, how we can, can serve the homeless, our, our neighbors uh, who are without homes, as well as some of the challenges that faces. So we'll have a meeting to talk about that after Liturgy next, next Sunday. Um, also for nativity services, at this point we're planning for services in the pavilion, uh, you know, barring anything unexpected, that's what we're looking at. We're moving vigil up to 4 p.m., so hopefully it'll be a little, little warmer out here. So vigil for nativity, make your notes, will be 4 p.m. in the pavilion, a liturgy at 9 a.m. on Christmas. Uh, so that's all I've got. Uh, so for many years, Father Deacon. On the 13th, Herman Cole has named day. On the 14th, Courtney uh, O'Neill has a birthday. Also, the 14th, Carol Kellogg has a birthday. Olga Jimenez has a birthday. On the 16th, Josue Leas has a birthday. On the 17th, Daniel Taylor has a namesake. Margaret Gaynor has a birthday. On the 18th, Zoe Ibrahimi has a namesake. On the 19th, Scott Ibrahimi has a birthday. So Joshua Herman is Herman. the same person. Yeah, birthday and name today. So birthday and sync. All right, I put that down too. Did you get Sarah's name today? No. I have it in there. Okay. Sarah. You're Sarah? Uh, Chris and Sarah. Actually. Sarah Blaine. Oh, Sarah Blaine. Blaine. Oh. There you go. After name. When's her name today? I'll look it up. I'll keep I go find it. <laughs> it's a movie that's movable one. Oh, it's movable. Well, move. well, the next, next couple of weeks we have some of the challenging names days because they, they move every year, so they're not always in there. Um, I said one more um, in, the, in the back. Uh, P Peter, yes? Somebody's back there, Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you say? He said it's your anniversary of your baptism? Okay. Anniversary of your baptism. Grant, O oh Lord, a prosperous, peaceful life, health and salvation and furtherance upon thy servant. Joshua Herman, Courtney, Carol, Olga, Josue, Daniel, Margaret, Margaret, Zoe, Scott, Sarah, Peter, and preserve them for many years. Preserve them for many years. Amen.